Yeah, very pleased. I thought they did a really professional job. Um, it was a bit sticky early on. We've, you know, made a few changes and we've seen other teams in this competition when they make that amount of changes not come together and play like we did for the you know, sort of last 60 minutes. So really pleased. Oh, well, plenty that pleased me. Um, they, they saw where the correct space was, the, the most amount of space. Um, and really tried to execute. Um, we were clinical, generally getting out of our half, which then gave us a lot of opportunities that we then took um, in that last 60 minutes. So, yeah, that really pleased me. As ever, always loads to improve. A uh, bit of stuff around the line again um, that I'm sure we'll work on. Um, to be honest, he's given us food for thought throughout pre-season because that's a standard he's, he operates at than me. So... Um, I know it was a bigger talking point than, than we felt it was. We, we we just see a great rugby player there. Um, really impressed with him. Um, we all thought it was coming before the game. And they're really confident that um, he was going to produce that sort of performance. Um, they looked great, didn't they? Yeah, no, I, I was pleased with, with how they both played. Um, when you put good players together, it's easy to think it can just happen, but they, they worked on that in the week. Um, I do think Marcus being out the back um, is the is probably the combination that you want out of out of those two. Um, so we managed to get that with Marcus playing fullback and um, his energy and life, Marcus, in terms of how quickly he gets out of the back. But then he's um, he obviously scans incredibly well because um, he does well. He scans well at five half and he has a little bit more space. But it's his communication on the back of it that I know that the guys inside will really appreciate because um you can only you can only go to what you've been told is told is there a lot of the time and uh, he certainly has been communicating that in a really impressive fashion. Yeah, no, I think they've um they've got stuck into the hard work. Um Allard and Tom are obviously um elite at what they do and so when someone's elite at what they do then there's not so many questions from the players. They just they'll they'll get on and graft if there's if it's mindless work and it's not purposeful and you don't see the, the big thing, then then sometimes it's a bit harder. But they get such specific um, guidance and info of why they're doing things and how it's going to improve them as players and um, and take us to hopefully a, a better level as a team. Then, yeah, they, they couldn't be more impressed with how they, um, they get on with the work that uh, doesn't look very enjoyable at times. Yeah, it's another one that we, we thought was coming um, in this game. You know, if we can get the ball to him in space, then um, he's electric. Um, he's a finisher. He knows his way to the trial line. So, yeah, I think he, he owes a couple of lads inside him a few beers for the um, couple of them, but definitely some some out there that um, that he scored himself. Which uh, So we had a, had a nice mix yesterday. Well, I mean, we've got what we... Um, we'd want out of the games in terms of um, the wins and put ourselves in a strong position um, in the pool. Um, and I think we've we've been building. I think we said that it was going to take time and the work um, was there, but we want to play the smartest rugby we can. And that will change from game to game. That that's every rugby team in the world. You don't um, you don't put your best or your most clinical or your um, performance you want out every week. Um, but in patches, um, we've been as as good as we've needed to be in those first three games. So um, it is now let's improve and piece those um, patches of performance for longer and longer in the games as, as the opposition ramps up.